The standards model of text complexity consists of three equally important parts. One, qualitative dimensions of text complexity. In the standards, qualitative dimensions and qualitative factors refer to those aspects of text complexity best measured or only measurable by an attentive human reader, such as levels of meaning or purpose, structure, language conventionality, and clarity, and knowledge demands. The second part, quantitative dimensions of text complexity. The terms quantitative dimensions and quantitative factors refer to those aspects of text complexity, such as a word length or frequency, sentence length, and text cohesion, that are difficult if not impossible for a human reader to evaluate efficiently, especially in long text, and are thus today typically measured by computer software. The Reader Motivation Survey addresses a third of these important parts, reader and task considerations. While the prior two elements of the model focus on inherent complexity of text, variables specific to particular readers, such as motivation, knowledge, and experience, and to particular tasks, such as the purpose and the complexity of tasks assigned and the questions posed, must be considered when determining whether a text is appropriate for a given student. Such assessments are best made by teachers employing the, their professional judgment, experience, and knowledge of their students and the subject, including consider how student perceptions, preferences, and motivation based on answers to individual survey questions may impact choice of text, both for instruction and for materials to be provided in the classroom libraries. Collaborate with the school library and media specialists who use the data from the survey to support students as they select independent reading materials and independent research projects. Consider how survey results from across students in the school may impact future purchasing decisions of classroom and library resources. Review survey results to determine which fix-up strategies students are identifying as ones they use and which ones are not yet used by students. Teach fix-up strategies that are not yet used since they may support additional student increases in reading achievement. Since research demonstrates that students with a growth mindset achieve more than those with a limited mindset, use the results of the survey to determine which students may need additional help in seeing themselves as confident and capable readers. Share with parents the genres and types of reading that students indicate are of interest to help parents support time on task for independent reading of text and interests outside of school. Share other information from the survey that can help parents partner in growing students to become lifelong leaders. Share other information from the survey that can help parents partner in growing students to become lifelong readers. Although there are no specific right or wrong answers on the reader motivation survey, the results can provide valuable information for teachers.